At Smarts Times we hope that everybody gets something out of our hub events. We want everyone to convene and no one should leave feeling that they haven't contributed and haven't taken from it. I think sometimes when teachers get involved with external agencies doing STEM or with industry, they feel as if they're getting a whole load of new burdens heaped onto them. That's not what we are here for. We're here to connect them with grant bodies, we're here to connect them with industry, we're here to connect them with students who can volunteer. That's about reducing their burden, allowing them to do more without necessarily having to pedal really hard. It's not like any other event where you're showing up and people are talking at you all day. It's very much hands-on experience. Even at lunchtime, there's different activities you can do. You can walk around and speak to different employers. We've had different hands-on workshops, so very, very different. It's not just about the subjects. We were watching the girls together today. They were doing problem solving, working together as a team, really concentrating what they were doing. I could see all this great listening from the children and determined to get to that end thing, that end product that they were wanting to do. I just think that the kids have been blown away today by what they've seen. It's inspired us yeah. and it's inspired them. Um, we've picked up wee things that we can bring back to the classroom as well, so that's been great. As a teacher, you're going, you're going back, you're taking ideas back to the school. Can I do that in the classroom? Could I lead on something like that in the school? Or could we make connections with all the partners that are here? And can we get them into school to deliver some of the workshops and, and some lectures to the young people? As a STEM mentor, I think the biggest barrier to STEM subjects so far has been a lack of um, confidence that teachers think that they maybe can't approach these subjects and then bring them round to an exciting, enthusiastic lesson that the children will be able to understand. And with events like today, it helps us to make links with other people, network with people who then can help us with the aspects of it that we are maybe struggling with mm -hmm. or that we don't have confidence with. A lot of STEM doesn't require fancy equipment. It can be basic stuff that you can just pick up and you can use in primary schools. And you're not on your own, you know, today we've met loads of people who have been saying, you know, we're happy to come in, you're happy to, here's our email, get in touch. So I think uh, that has been so valuable in itself. For me, it gives me another network that I can use, I can bring into school, I can get more opportunities. And every time you get a new network, it builds your course and your own subject, but it builds stuff within the school and the council. I would be surprised if teachers didn't want to come along to certain things like this. I think as teachers we should be actively promoting it. Well, the day is absolutely flown in and if you're present at it, but come to Smart Stems, I would highly recommend you bring pupils to, to the event and, and just see for yourself how good it is. Do it. I don't think you would ever regret it. I think it has been the most amazing opportunity. I think that the results that you get from it will be amazing too. I think it totally changes the children's perception of learning and how you can learn and what you can do with your learning. Um, I think it really is inspirational.